sometimes teacher gives you a choice. She says, uh, come on, let's la write about pet. And we love to keep pet, all of us, isn't it? There are a whole lot of pet children love to keep. It may be a dog, it may be a cat, it may be a bird, it may be a squirrel and so on. Some will say fish. So keeping pet in the house, taking care of a cat or a dog or a fish or a, a squirrel or any animal, it's very good. It will help you in the caring of pet, it will help you to be a better child. So you are not only, mommy takes care of you about your food and how you take care and here you are as small as you are learning to take care of an alive, a cat, a fish, to keep them comfortable, to feed them on time, to keep them happy, to keep the fish tank clean, to keep the dog alert. Train the dog, train the cat. So having a pet is good for you because you are caring for something alive. You are taking responsibility over something. So most of the time the children will say, oh I wish I had a little pet cat to cuddle, to train, to play with. Sometimes you will say, oh I wish I had a little pup. Puppies are so friendly. They are so friendly. They go with you wherever. They protect you. Oh, I just love to have a pet. Some child will say, I love water. A little water and a couple of fish, that will go to make me a happy person. I love to change the water. I love to put little things for the fish to eat and things like that. Or somebody might say, oh, I love to have a little bird a mina or a parrot, I like to hear it. I would like to train it, talk some words. And it's exciting. When you get the bird to say a word or two, it's very exciting. So different children have different love for pets. But you can choose. But when the teacher says write something, you got to choose a pet, an animal or a bird, a fish, and then you say why you like it. Then you can say, who gave it to you? Or from where did you get it? Then you can give it a name. Now what will you do? Supposing it's a puppy, you can say, my uncle gave it to me on my birthday. You can give it a name. And then you can say, how many days old, how old. You can say, how the pup's mummy looks. Then you can say, what he likes to eat, how you train it, and things like that. And what do you do? how to keep the dog comfortable, things like that. So, when you have to write about a pet, you must have the pet, the name, where you are going to keep in your house and how you will take care and why you love it. Okay. So, now today we will learn to write about my pet cat. A pet is always a friend who goes with you. Okay. So, and it gives you comfort. It keeps you happy. No? So, my pet cat. My pet cat. Children always love cats. They are so soft and cuddly. And they say a cat is nice to keep in the house because now we live in a very crowded place. There is always my little mouse trying to enter, creep into your house. And there is, yeah, you have your pet cat to keep the rat away, to keep your house clean. The cats are very clean animal, they say. Now, when you talk about cat, it is a domestic animal. It needs to be trained. The cat needs to listen to you. So, mommy is training you, teacher is training you and there you are training a, an animal that's good for your brain, good for you. Now, my pet cat. I have a pet cat given to me 
by my uncle. Okay, hmm? my pet cat. I have. I have a pet cat. I have a pet cat. Oh, you love the cat. Now, who gave it to you? It was given to me. It was given to me by my uncle. My uncle, he says, oh, you love cat. And the big mama cat gives birth to kittens. I will choose one for you. And there you are. You love how to have pet cat. And here's your uncle who gives you a little soft kitten for you to take care of. Now, when you get a cat, when you get a pet, you love to give it a name. Now, what's the name now? Huh? I have a pet cat. It was given to me by my uncle. I call her. I call her Coco. That's your, that's your pet name for your cat. I call her Coco, come here. And the Coco will come. Okay. Now, how does the little pet cat look? Huh? How does she look? Now you can say, she has green eyes. Green eyes. The cat with green eyes really look nice. Then, and a white brown fur. How does she look? She's got green eyes and a white And you can say a white fur. She's fluffy fur. Oh, she's white all over. She's got green eyes. What's her name? Coco. So my pet, I have a pet cat. It was given to me by my uncle. I call her Coco. She has green eyes and she's got white fur. Okay, what else? What kind of a cat she is? She's very tiny. Yes, she's very brave. She is. She is brave. She is very brave and she doesn't get scared. She's very she is brave and does not get scared. Of, let's say if you have a dog at home, she doesn't get scared of dog. She's a very brave person. Now, what does she like to eat or drink? She loves. What does she love? Your pet cat. She loves milk and fish. What does she love? She loves milk and fish. What is when mommy is frying fish, what does the little pet cat do? Run into the kitchen asking mama for it. So she loves to drink milk. What else she likes? She likes to play about. She loves to drink milk. She loves to eat fish. She enjoys playing. How does she enjoy playing? With what? Playing with her own tail. She enjoys playing with her own. Her own tail. She goes round and round playing. Okay, what else? What else you do? What do you do with her when you come from school? I take her out for a walk. I take her out. I take her out. Do you take her in, a, in your hand or in a basket? I take her out for a walk in a tiny basket. So you love to go for a walk. You take a tiny little basket and you take the little uh, uh, cat for out. Okay. Now, 
she is very clean. Your cat is very, yes, yeah, she is neat and clean. She is neat and clean. Your cat is neat and clean. How does she clean herself? She is all the time rubbing herself. She is neat and she clean. Now, where does she sleep? She sleeps under my cot. I put a little rug there. She sleeps. Where does she sleep? She sleeps under my cot. And what do I do? I am all the time looking at her, Coco, and she comes running. Then, what does the family do with your cat? My family loves her because she keeps the mice away. My family, my family loves Coco, loves Coco because she keeps the mice away. What does she do to the mice? She keeps the mice away from the house. So everybody says, oh, what a cute little thing. Now, she is a cute little pet. She's a cute little pet. I love her so much. So, what did you do? You wrote about your Coco. Now, you love to have a little pet and that's your little cat. Okay? So, I have a pet cat. What do I call her? I call her Coco. Who gave it to you? My uncle gave it to me. How did uncle know that you love pet? You might have visited uncle and uncle might have had a cat and several little kittens and you might have said, uncle, please give me that white little the little one with green eyes and white fur. And so there is uncle who gives it to you. So it was given to me, my uncle. Then when it comes home, what do you call her? I call her Coco. You love to eat chocolate. So remembering chocolate, you tell, I love to call her Coco. Then how does she look? She's got green, beautiful eyes. She's white fur all over. She looks lovely. Then what does she? She's not scared. She's a brave little kitten. And she does not get scared of dog. There's a little dog in my house, in my neighbor's house, not scared. Brave little one. Now, what does she love to? She loves to drink milk and fish. She loves milk and fish. What does she enjoy? She enjoys playing with her own tail. She keep on bringing her tail out and she keep playing with her own tail. Then what do I do when I come from school? I take her out for a walk because she's too tiny. I take her in a basket tiny basket. Then she's clean and neat. She's all the time cleaning herself. They say cats are the cleanest animal. So she's all the time neat and clean. She sleeps under my cot and I keep looking at her all the time. What do my family say about her? My family likes Coco because she keeps the mice away. When little ma rat comes in, she gives one dart and there they go away. Then she is a cute little pet. I love her very much. Now like this, you can write about a cat, dog, you can write about a bird and what you do with it. You can elaborate on it if needed. Now sometime you may be asked to write about my school library. If you look into your school various rooms, there will be a very important room called the library and is always very airy, spacious. Now, if you are a person, if you are a little girl or boy who enjoy reading, who love to read, lay hands on some book to read all the time, then library is the best place. We spoke about favorite fruit, but there are children who will say, oh, my favorite book. I love that library. 
The school library is always a friendly place. There's always a teacher who help you to pick book, will tell you about what story is that and what, what will you, you will enjoy. So a teacher is there always supporting you, helping you and choose the book, to borrow the book, to return on time and helping you to discuss about it. So school library is a lovely place if you want to enjoy reading. Now every class has a period or two allotted to go there into the library to read in a quiet manner. Now library is always a large room with thousands of books of all kinds. You can have story books, you will get coloring books, you will get books of all subjects. Then there is always a corner for children to sit quietly and read. Now the librarian sets up books neatly, laid out so beautifully so that once you enter you have an appeal to pick up, sit and read. There is an atmosphere of silence created, helping children to pick book and read in a quiet place. And it's always colorfully painted, lovely flowers are put up there. Young children and old children, teachers go there, take the book, borrow, getting the help of the librarian. Some children spend a lot of time with friends at the library making notes of various things or projects that the teacher gives on different subjects. Now library is one of the most important place, most important, the vital part, I would say the heart of the school should be the library. Then only the children learn a lot of things from there. Spending time at the library is the most important thing a child could do. So what are we writing about? School library. When you talk about your school library, you can say where it is located, it, is it accessible easily, are the librarian uh, has got help, is she there all the time or are there many others to help, lot of things you can write. Okay, so now we are going to write about my school library, my school library. So your school library, where is it located now? How big is it? Now, my school has a huge library, very big library. So you will say my school, my school has a huge, huge means very big, has a huge my school has a very, has a huge library, what kind of library is that? It is spacious and airy, so my school has a huge library, it is airy, colorful and spacious. So this airy, it is colorful, they keep it so beautifully and spacious. Now who is in charge of the library? We have two teachers to support us in the library or we can say we have two librarians in our school library. We can say we have a librarian and assistant to support her. We have a nice, friendly, what else? She's friendly, she's a very nice person, she's friendly and helpful 
we have a nice friendly and help helpful librarian with two helpers now my school has a huge library if it is huge you need a lot of people to support it is airy colorful and spacious we have a nice friendly and helpful librarian with two helpers she helps us to choose books what does she do so we have support uh, two helpers to support her now we can also say there are all kinds of books or oh, there are thousands of books there are thousands there are thousands of books of various subjects we have magazines and short story books and story books so that is all about the library now the children and teachers the children and teachers can borrow books borrow books you can borrow books and read freely at the library spending time at the library with friends collecting notes is another enjoyable time now so we are teachers and children they can borrow books and read freely at the library the atmosphere what about the kind of atmosphere created the atmosphere is very good in our library we spend time how do you spend we spend time we spend our time reading and collecting information reading and and completing you go for reading then you for completing of projects we spend our time reading and completing of projects at the library huh at the library i often visit i often visit the library the school library with my friends so when you go with your friends you learn to choose books exchange books discuss about the books okay i love to spend time useful time over there 
I love to spend my useful time over there. Now children who spend a lot of time at the library, they go to be great leaders. When you read a lot, you automatically write. I spoke about there are magazines over there. Sometimes the school magazine helps you or invites you to write a short article, short story into the school magazine. So spending time at the library goes to help you to be a good, very reader and not only a reader, a great writer too. And a school librarian supports you in making writing small articles, writing short stories and putting into the school magazine. So all this will go to make you a great reader and a writer. So we are talking about my school library. We, we have written a little bit but you can elaborate on this. My school has a huge library. It has a very huge library and it is airy, it is colorful and it is spacious. Lots of spaces spent for the library. Now we have a nice friendly and helpful librarian with two helpers. It's a huge library, so the books have to be neatly arranged. So we have two helpers. There are thousands of books of various subjects. We have magazines and storybooks, and whatever we need, it is there in the library. The children and teachers can borrow books and read freely at the library. Not only really borrow, but remain there, spend some quiet time reading. The atmosphere is very good in our library. Everybody is quiet and everybody is disciplined. We spend our time reading and completing our projects at the library. Sometimes the teacher gives some work, they will give you a little bit of uh, gist and they will say go to the library, get this book, ask librarians help, complete this assignment, complete this question answer, whatever. So, you would take your friends and go and spend a lot of time over there and there the librarian together with our helpers ready to help you. I often visit the library with my friends. Now you form, because there is a library, you form tiny groups. Groups of what? Reading group. You will read, you will say, oh I love this author. I love to read Enid Blyton. All the series I will read. And then somebody will say, I will read Tom Sawyer. So, different children get into different groups when they get into the reading taste. Library helps you to pick up book for reading and cultivate love for reading for future. And when you continue to read with the support of the library, the class teacher and your friend, then you are going to become a writer. You write your own stories. So, finally, I love to spend my useful time over there, not alone, together with friends. So library is a resourceful place and the librarian there is a resourceful person helping you to choose books for various reasons, for various subjects, also for personal pleasure, enjoyment, picking stories. So you must, if you have a beautiful library in your school, you must say, I thank God for the school. It's got a lovely library and a supportive librarian help to helping, to help the children to become great readers.